All right, Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. You're on camera, whether you like it or not. When you start seeing the way that the data is being linked and connected, it really does start to turn into a bit of a surveillance state. A new choice investigation revealing we're now being tracked at major venues like the MCG, SCG and Allianz Stadium. So it's very hard to understand if the technology is being used. It's often buried in, you know, 3,000 word long policies hidden deep on a website or in very long signage at the venue. The technology sees an army of cameras take thousands of detailed photos of patrons storing them in an online database. Facial recognition technology isn't just like ordinary CCTV. It's more akin to collecting, say, your fingerprint or your DNA. And everyone's fair game. Ideally, we'd like consumers to be able to opt in or out, and in order to do that, they need appropriate information. Pull the plug! That worries me. I didn't know about that. That is a little bit sus, yeah. It worries me. I'd like to know what it's for. I would definitely be wary of going to different sort of stadiums. Honestly, as long as it doesn't hold you accountable. I think Big Brother is watching us all over. The venues say they're merely tracking crowd behaviour, abandoned bags and even queue lengths. But critics fear the data they're collecting could be misused. There's nothing to stop these companies really sharing this biometric information about people. If you've got people tracking you at a stadium, to your shopping centre, to see what you're buying at retail and chemists, there's a whole lot of really private information that can create what we call a mosaic effect on our lives. The federal government urged to step in. At the moment, there are no specific protections or legal guardrails around the use of facial recognition technology in Australia. And as more and more companies use this. We want Australians to have their privacy protected, to feel like they're in control of their personal information. So are our spying stadiums overstepping the mark? It's a little I struggle and I know that I, pro I mean, I think I should, but I just, I feel like my data is there. Everyone has my data. I get angry at my phone when it doesn't recognise my face. So it's like, <laughs> if a stadium can see me, uh, okay. So your fine. problem is that the facial recognition is not good enough. Yes. Not when I'm wearing That's makeup. Your... It's actually very depressing when I look at my face, my phone and it goes, no. And I'm like, no, it's me. I take the makeup off and it's like, oh, is that shit? <laughs> <laughs> don't you think about what could happen? Because I think people don't care because nothing has happened to them. Yeah. But it's about what could happen. Do you oh, think yeah. about that? What no. do you mean? Could... So, social credit score, yeah. like in China, they, you know, a lot of cameras are linked. I know I sound like someone that wakes and bakes here, but uh, <laughs> there's conspiracy <laughs> theories. But they've got a social credit system where cameras are linked to people's behaviour and you get a score oh, over time and yeah. that can affect if you can travel, if your kids can go to a certain really? school. And I would, yeah. It all starts with facial recognition. But for recognition. me, it's, it's, for the, it's for behaviour. and it, it, I know their argument behavior. is for the stadium. Can't they tell how long a queue is without using facial recognition technology? But maybe it's more helpful if it's they could. Do <laughs> you know what happened in um, Madison Square Garden? Mm -hmm. They used facial recognition technology to identify lawyers who were working on lawsuits against them and ban them from coming in. You're going to make I mean, me feel bad for thing. lawyers. Yeah. I don't like this <laughs> at all. <laughs>